Hello, hello, and welcome to RuPaul's Drag Race Rejudged, and today, we will be taking a look at Canada vs. the World Season 1. This season was a massive improvement over UK vs. the World 1, so I will not be as angry as I was last video. So on that note, let's get into it. First up is Episode 1, which is the Girl Groups Challenge. I think a lot of people did really well here, and not many people did badly, so this was a bit difficult to judge, but ultimately I went with a top 3 of Raja, Vanity, and Isis Couture, and a bottom 3 of Anita, Kendall, and Stephanie. For the top 2, based off runways and overall group performance, I decided to go with Raja and Vanity. And for the bottom three, I decided to save Anita because I think she had the strongest performance and runway of the bottom three. Raja and Vanity lip sync. Vanity wins and Kendall is eliminated. Next up is episode 2, which is the Snatch Game. While this might not have been the best Snatch Game ever, it was still somehow better than UK vs. The Worlds. For the top 3, I went with Isis, Couture, Raja, and Vanity. And for the bottom 3, I went with Silky, Anita, and Stephanie. I think for the top 3, Isis was the clear best, Raja was the clear second, so they are the top 2. And for the bottom three, I decided to save Silky for her runway. Isis and Raja lip sync to Skater Boy. Isis wins, and Stephanie is eliminated. Next up is episode three, which is the Weather Ball, which is one of my favorite concepts for a ball ever. I think Isis, Silky, Victoria, and Raja all did great. But factoring in the runways they brought from home, Raja is bumped down to safe, Isis, Couture, and Silky are the top two, and Victoria is high. For the bottom three, Vanity is saved based off her looks from home, and Anita and Rita are in the bottom. Isis and Silky lip sync to Nobody's Supposed to Be Here, Silky wins, handing Isis her first ever lip sync loss, and Anita is eliminated. Next up is episode 4, which is the comedy challenge. Before the episode, Isis quits the competition, leaving us at the final five. Silky and Victoria were the clear best two here and take the top two slots. For the remaining three, I decided to put Rita and Vanity in the bottom, factoring in performances and runways. I think Raja's runway saves her from being in the bottom. Silky and Victoria lip sync. Victoria wins, but no one is eliminated due to Isis Couture having quit the competition. Next up is episode 5, which is the acting challenge. Since we are at that point in the competition, if you are not in the top, you are in the bottom. I think Rita and Victoria were the clear best two. Raja was third and unfortunately ends up in the bottom. But Rita and Victoria lip sync to Freak. Rita wins and Vanity is eliminated, unfortunately. This leaves us with the exact same top four from the original season. I think Raja wins the fan vote, Victoria and Silky are second and third, and Rita takes fourth place as she did in the actual season. In terms of track record, there really isn't much to look at. Victoria is a clear first with two wins and a score of 7.4. Raja is second place with two wins, one bottom, and a score of 6.2. Silky is in third with a score of 5.6, two wins, and one bottom. And Rita is in fourth place with a score of 4.4, one win, and two bottoms. The queens now lip sync for the crown. Raja and Victoria lip sync to do it, and Raja wins. Rita and Silky lip sync to Broken Bones, and while it is honestly really close, Silky wins. Thus leaving us with a top two of Raja and Silky. This is one of my favorite top twos we've ever gotten. They have an incredible lip sync to River Deep Mountain High, but ultimately based off the track records and the fan vote, Raja wins the season. I know I'm not the first one to say it, but this season is such an improvement over UK versus the world. 
I think there's a legitimate shot that if this season had not aired, we would not have gotten UK vs. The World 2, but I'm not sure on that. But that concludes my series of All Stars Rejudged. Please like and subscribe and continue watching. Depending on how the vote goes, I will be doing either UK or Canada next. But that is all for today. So hey, do you want more non-Emmy-nominated content? Well then you should subscribe for more gay s***.